There's a new Centurion Lounge coming to the nation's busiest airport. Disney is ditching many of their COVID-19 restrictions. IHG Properties is offering a free night stay. And you may finally be able to get paid for eating Big Macs. You ready? Let's go. Hey everybody, Brandon Boyd with The Brandon Boyd Show. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video if you find it entertaining or helpful. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications for alerts. I really appreciate all of your support so far. And welcome back to the second edition of Weekly Pointers where we cover some of the news that you may have missed over the past week as it relates to credit cards, points and miles, travel, money, and everything in between. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. There's some fun stuff to cover this week and let's get going. If you've ever traveled through the Atlanta airport like I have, you know it's one of the busiest airports in the country, but there is some exciting news coming your way if you're passing through here in the near future. It has been announced that there will be a new Centurion Lounge from American Express. Currently in the airport, there are nine Delta Sky Clubs, which this is the biggest Delta hub in the country. There's one American Admirals Club, and there's one United Club. So right now, there aren't a lot of options for people that are traveling from all types of different airlines. Currently, there is only one lounge, the club, which is located in the International Terminal, that's available for passengers of all different flight brands. It's going to be really interesting to see how they handle crowds here because if you have all the folks that have the Delta Sky Miles Reserve and Business Reserve mixed with the uh, American Express Platinum and Business Platinum and you're trying to get them all in one place, it could get quite crowded, especially again since this is Delta's largest hub. It'll be interesting to see what happens, but anytime there's a new lounge that opens up, I get excited, so I can't wait to see this one open up. Stay tuned to the channel. If we pass through there on our travels once this lounge opens, we'll definitely get some video and do a walkthrough for you. It's just going to be interesting to see, again, how they handle the crowds. Something to keep an eye on. Chase is putting out yet another great sign-up offer for one of their cards. The Marriott Bonvoy Boundless card has a tremendous offer right now. It's offering three free nights valued at up to 50,000 points per night when you spend $3,000 in the first three months of having the card. And that's all at just a $95 annual fee. And that's only half the offer. During the first six months, up to $2,500 in spend, you can earn 10 times points on groceries, dining, and gas. So think about that, 2,500 additional dollars in spend times 10 times points is 25,000 points. So essentially, this is gonna be a 175,000 point offer by the time you add the three nights valued at 50,000 each. I think this is a very good offer. So if you have a definite use case for Marriott points coming up in the near future, this is a great card to have if you're a Marriott loyalist or if you just want to dip your toes into the Bonvoy Rewards program, this may be a really good card to pick up. The spend is low, the annual fee is low, and you get a ton of points. What could go wrong? Disneyland says that you can ditch your mask, and they're also relaxing many of the COVID-19 protocols that were in place for fully vaccinated travelers. Now, if you are unvaccinated, you will still have to wear a mask when you're indoors except when you're eating, so those protocols will still be in place, but it's inching itself a little bit closer towards normalcy, which I'm excited about. Disneyland and Disney World have also announced that they are bringing back their fireworks display. Now, Disney World will be launching this on July the 1st at their park in Orlando, and Disneyland will be doing this starting July the 4th. How appropriate. I personally love the fireworks displays. My kids absolutely love them. Are you excited about it? Let me know down in the comments. Who doesn't like a good fireworks display? IHG Properties has a new incentive to get you to sign up for their rewards program where they stay twice and get a free night program. This promo is exactly what it sounds like and it's very straightforward. All you have to do is sign up for their rewards program or have signed up within 30 days of the announcement of this promo and I'll put a link down in the description so you can look at that. Stay twice by September 6, 2021, and you will get a free night valued at up to 40,000 points. That free night will post to your account after your stay, and you'll have to use it within 120 days. But again, it's a free night. I'll take a free night every day of the week. This is a free sign-up. There's no credit cards involved, so for me, this is a no-brainer. If you've got someone that hasn't signed up for IHG Rewards before, go ahead and sign up as a new member. Book two nights by September 6, 2021, and get yourself a free night later on. And to cap things off, we end with probably the biggest story of the week. And you know on this channel, we cover some pretty hard-hitting topics and issues related to finance, credit cards, and money. And this is no exception. McDonald's is launching their My McDonald's Rewards Program. This is big news for a lot of people. 
It seems like every fast food restaurant has some sort of rewards app associated with it. You'll get a reward after your first order, and then for every subsequent order, you'll earn 100 points per dollar spent. Now, don't get too excited. These points aren't valued at a ton. So you can start redeeming rewards when you reach up to 1,500 points, all the way up to their highest tier rewards of 6,000 points. So basically, for every 15 to $60 that you spend at McDonald's and scan this app when you go in, you will get a free reward item of some type, depending on what that item is. Again, this is huge news, and I'm excited about it, but I'm curious, what restaurant rewards programs or loyalty programs do you value the most? Which ones do you use? Let me know down in the comments. I'm always curious to see what people think out there because there are hundreds of these apps out there. Some of them are user-friendly, some are not. Some provide more value than others. I just want to know what you think personally so I know what rewards apps to keep on my phone so I don't clutter it up with ones that aren't of good value. So let me know. I'd really love to hear about that. If you enjoyed this video, as always, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications for alerts. And as always, when you click on The Brandon Boyd Show, you are going to get the latest on credit cards, points and miles, money, and fast food apps. We'll add that to the list. I really appreciate you watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. I will see you soon.